Beeps, how's it going? And welcome to another video. Yay! Hello guys, how's it going? It's your boy Mike. Today I got a little collection of things that annoy me, and trust me, they are pretty freaking annoying, Mike. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right, so first, you know how you have the cereal packet and it's faced up? You don't pay that much attention to it, so when you open it, you flip it over, and then once you've like taken all your cereal, put on the milk and everything, and then you realize that you open it upside down, man. No, 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 that, 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 that gives me AIDS. When my sister and brother have done it, and when I come downstairs and want to eat like breakfast and everything, and I find out that the cereal packet has been opened upside down, I'm like, <laughs> Mom, go out and buy another one, and we're gonna eat that. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. No, but seriously, I don't know if it's like OCD or something, but my brain cannot comprehend the fact that it's upside down. So what I do is I take the open side when it's upside down, flip it back over, open it proper way, and I use it that way. Sick. Second, I'm, I'm sure this annoys you all because it's not just annoying, it's actually a waste of money. I said that in such a sassy way, I was like, this is a waste of money? But no, seriously, like, when you buy a Coca can, the tinned ones, and you try to open them, you know, you know the, uh, the thing that you go, like, with? I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but when you try to open it, that thing breaks off and it's just flat, so you can't open it anymore unless you get, like, a knife and pierce through it, which I don't have. You know how when you buy a bag of chips, bag it, when you buy a packet of chips this big, and then, you come home thinking, oh, I've got, I've got tons of chips, man. When you open it, half of it is filled with air. I get so mad. Like, why would they sell half of it filled with freaking air? If you're gonna sell half of it, make the packet size half. This is probably the most annoying thing out of everything in the world. Okay, you're in the cinema. Again, I don't know why I keep eating cinema, but you're in the cinema. And you buy popcorn. Eating your popcorn, slowly by slowly, but the preview lasts for long. And then I eat all my popcorn before the movie freaking starts. And when the movie starts, all my friends like take out their chips, popcorns, or take out their drinks and everything. And then I am with my popcorn packets shrunk up and I'm like, I'll make and I uh, borrow some of your chips there, please. Where's yours? Did you get your own, man? Jeez. Bruh! I can't not eat my popcorn. Either I have to go in the movie, wait till the preview starts, go out, buy my popcorn, and quickly come back in, which is completely stupid. Cinema, stop with the previews! God damn it! Oh, oh. I know I, I, I know I said the previous one was the most annoying, but hear me out. Let's say you're at school and you're you're you're, you know, you're writing an essay or something, and then you want to erase something, okay? So you get the back of your eraser, you know, bother to get your actual big eraser out, and then you start erasing it, and you look back, it's made like a smudge, like it's not a proper eraser, you know, something's something wrong with it. Makes a smudge, oh my god. I don't care if I'm halfway through the book or from my last page of my book, I will, I will throw that book out and get a new book because I am I'm freaking OCD, like you have no idea. I would hate for my book all the way to be clean and on my last page it has a smudge throughout the middle of your book. And you can't erase an eraser, can you? Tell me if there is because I'm gonna go freaking buy that shit right now. You alright, man? I mean, I don't hate it as much. I, I would, I would really love if people didn't do it. It's the kind of thing that I wouldn't mind. But it's when, again, with my friends, when I'm over at my friend's house, and they tell me to take off my shoes before I'm entering their house. What is my shoe gonna do to your house? Yeah, okay, fine. Maybe you don't want it to smell or anything. But if I take off my shoe, then my socks will smell. But anyway, the point is, it's not like I play football. Like I know you love your carpets and everything, but like my shoe's not gonna do anything to your carpet. Maybe I don't want to take off my shoe. What if, what if I'm not wearing any socks under? My feet have like athlete's foot. I, I don't have athlete's foot, I'm just giving an example. You know, I've asked my friends to take off their shoes because they've done it to me, it's kind of like a revenge thing. I don't see the point where I have to take off my shoes when I come into your house. But yeah, that's the stuff that annoys me, so if you guys have seen me, give a heads up of what annoys me so you know not to do them because I was slap you in the face. If you did, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't. What am I saying? Hand movements. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating, subscribe, comment below, or anything saying. I'll catch you.